Welcome back to another quick video. Today, we're gonna to be looking at a pretty common question that we get around here of how to weave two rolls of chain link wire together. If you purchase chain link wire and maybe you're a DIY person or a homeowner that's trying to do it themselves, typically when you buy a roll of chain link, there will be an extra picket inside for you to weave two rolls together. This may seem like a pretty simple task, and for the most part it is, but for those out there that don't know how to do it, we thought we would run through a quick tutorial on how it's done. For example, we have these two rolls of four foot galvanized wire here. This is a pretty common size for fences that you'd find in a residential yard or a DIY person would most likely pick up some four foot chain link. If you'll notice here at the ends of each one of these rolls, you can see that we're actually lined up pretty good to where we're going to need to take or remove one of these pickets out of one of the sides. It does not matter which one you do, but in this particular case, we do not have an extra piece or an extra picket to weave these together. So we're simply going to unknuckle and twist one out, and then we're going to be lining them back up and twisting a piece back in to join the two. Let's move down to the ground and I'll show you what that looks like. So now that we have the two rolls of chain link down on the ground, this is gonna be a little bit easier to show you guys. And in real life, sometimes it's easier if you can have the rolls of chain link on the ground while you're doing this. Sometimes when you're installing fence and you're stretching it along a long run that takes more than one roll, um, it is easier just to have it standing up. That way you don't have to lay the whole roll of wire down. But essentially what you wanna do is undo the knuckle on each side of the piece that you're gonna be taking out. The one on the bottom has already been done. We'll do this one on the top so that we can free up this one picket. Once we have it undone, we're simply going to pull towards us and twist it till it comes out of the roll of chain link. So now that we have our picket removed, what we're gonna do is we're going to line up both sides of the chain link and we're simply going to weave our piece in between each roll. Now, if you notice here at the top, we have a full diamond and over here we have half of a diamond. So you want to make sure that the piece you're weaving into either creates the next full diamond or they need to be opposite. So you wouldn't want to try to weave this piece if it was a full diamond and this piece if it was a full diamond because then you'd only have half of a picket. Let's go ahead and we'll weave our picket back into the two rolls. Once you have both pieces weaved back together, you're now connected. Congratulations, you have successfully weaved two rolls of chain link together. Give yourself a pat on the back. The last thing to do is to make sure that the knuckles are re-knuckled over so that the two rolls don't come apart. Also too, there are chain link rolls that have knuckle and a twist. And in that particular case, depending upon whether it's galvanized before weave or after weave, sometimes it's easier just to cut below the twist and do the exact same process. Trying to untwist the twist can be a bit of a chore and oftentimes they don't go back together super great. So I recommend just snipping below and then weaving it back in. So there you go. We started with two little tiny rolls. We now have one full roll ready to go, whether it's gonna be on gates or in somebody's yard, perhaps your yard. Now you know how to throw two rolls together and that process works very well when you're trying to stretch chain link on longer runs that require multiple rolls. 
Anyway, that's it for now. Appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully that tutorial helps some people out there. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.